Subscribe to Smartphone Tutorials by clicking on the subscribe button and do remember to click on the notification bell icon to get instant notifications. So 10 days without a video and you guys must be wondering that what's wrong with the channel, he uploads every day, something is going on and that's absolutely right because well as you can see the studio is being upgraded, we have upgraded our recording equipment and we're going to have a lot more phones in 2018 as well. At the same time what we're going to do is we can announce the winner of the previous giveaway on the 31st of December, the contest has ended but hey that doesn't end there. There is a new giveaway that is going to come up and the prize, well, guess what, it's a phone. A lot of you told me that I should give away a phone. So yes, the Redmi 5A is going to be the prize for the next giveaway contest. So stay tuned for that. Now what we're going to talk about in today's video is the beautiful OnePlus 5T has finally, finally started receiving the Oreo Betas. We still don't have any open betas but then again I got my hands on the Chinese version of the beta software and it runs mighty impressive. Here's a step by step guide on how to install it and the first impressions, what you should do and what you should not. We will be doing this video in maybe two parts, one will be for the people who are on a locked bootloader with a stock recovery and one will be for the guys who are on Cheeto Brew RP. Hello awesome people, welcome to Smartphone Tutorials. Let's begin installing Android Audio on the beautiful OnePlus 5T. Alright guys, so that's the OnePlus 5T that we have and before we proceed, let's have a look what operating system or what ROM are we on. As you can see, it is 4.7.5 stable and uh, we are running a locked bootloader here, 64 GB variant with 6 GB of RAM. Now, before you proceed, you might want to back up all the information as it is a beta and things can go wrong. So do it at your own risk and please go ahead and back up all the important information that you have. Also ensure that you have more than 50% battery just to be on a safer side. Now you will not need a computer or anything of that sort. Now the link for the ROM is mentioned in the description. So just copy that link, open Chrome and just go ahead and paste it here. There you go. And just hit go. And the moment you do that, it will start downloading the ROM file. There you go. So I have already downloaded it. Now once the download is complete, what you'd want to do is go to settings. Now once again, you may lose all the information. So please back up all the data and then try this at your own risk. Now then we will go to system updates and hit this particular settings icon here and select local upgrade now you see this will happen with you as well so all you need to do is go to the file manager go to storage and the downloaded file will of course be in download so just press and hold on that and then just gotta cut it go back to the main directory and paste it there now once it is pasted, let's do that again, go to settings, go to system updates, settings icon, local upgrade, bam, you have it there. So this is hydrogen beta for China and let's hit on that and it says it will not affect any data, blah, 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 click on upgrade now. Now the upgrade process will take about 5 to 10 minutes and the first boot will also take about five to ten minutes so be patient leave it on there wait for it to complete I'll get back to you once every process is done there you have it now as you can see on the screen it is booting into H2OS that means it is already flashed Android Oreo on it and this is the first boot so it will take say about between 5 to 10 minutes so you don't need to worry about that okay that was quick so let's go ahead and unlock this let's go ahead and unlock this baby here 
Okay, let's run through the setup. It will look as if everything has been formatted, but don't worry. I've tried this multiple times and nothing has been lost, so don't worry about that. Let's, let's adjust the camera angle, access, next, next, and bam. All right, so as you can see, the WhatsApp is there. All, so there will be a few Chinese apps and you will have a few force close like this one so you can choose to go ahead and uninstall all the Chinese bloatware from apps and uh, meanwhile if you have a look this is running Android Oreo there you go so the camera works all the other options work just fine there you go all right so that's Android Oreo for you and that's the easiest way to install this beta now you will have Play Store pre-installed because we came from a stable ROM which already comes with Play Store and stuff like that. If you have any apps that are force closing, you, you can choose to uninstall them and reinstall them. You can uninstall the Chinese bloatware and once all that is done, you should have a good to go ROM. Even after that, if you have any issues, feel free to go ahead and perform a factory reset after backing up your data and things should be just fine. Now in the next step, what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at the process to install Android Oreo using TWRP. Alright, so the guys who are on TWRP, it's a pretty, pretty straightforward process for you guys. You just need to wipe, advanced wipe, Dalvik, cache, data, and system. Everything except internal storage. Just go ahead and wipe it. There you go. Once everything is wiped, hit install, select the Hydrogen OS file, and swipe. Now remember the G apps installation will not work on this particular ROM for whatever reason. The easiest way to get Google Play Store if you're doing a clean install is just boot into the ROM, use the Chinese market, preloaded market, and search for Google Play Store. It will download and install the Play Store for you guys, uninstall the bloatware, and after that, just install the apps of your choice and you're good to go with Android Oreo on your OnePlus 5T. So this installation process will take about three to five minutes and then the first boot, as I said earlier, will take anywhere between three to five minutes. Now, there are a few disadvantages of moving to this particular beta because getting back to stable, you know, sticky and a little different. So let's go ahead and reboot to system. It'll say no OS installed, which is fine. All right, okay. So as I said, the first boot will take five to 10 minutes and you should be golden after that. Okay, so upon first boot, all you need to do is select English. Just go through the setup menu as you would like. Okay, I'm gonna skip through everything so that I can show you how to get the Google Play Store. Skip face unlock next. Okay, we are done. So there you go, that's the home screen. And once again, as I showed you earlier, this is Android 8.0 Oreo Beta H2OS instead of Oxygen OS, and that's your Oreo Easter egg. All right, so now as you can see, there's a lot of Chinese bloatware. Let's take this one for instance. You can simply just long press to hold and Uninstall, bam. So most of the bloatware can be taken care of. Just don't uninstall this particular market app. Okay, hit the red button here and search for P L A Y. So Google Play Store. There you go. So just go ahead and install again the red button and once that particular process is complete, you will have Google Play Store installed. So there you have it guys. Those were the two methods of installing Android Oreo Beta based on the Chinese ROM for the OnePlus 5T. Tomorrow's video will be about the Star Wars theme and how to get back to the stable ROM. If you like this video guys, like, share and subscribe. The links are mentioned in the description. Stay tuned because starting 1st January, we will have a new giveaway coming up. Peace.